Welcome to a Science Olympia General Vehicle Lessons and Tips. This video will cover vehicle steering. Vehicle steering, why steering is important, what causes a vehicle to curve or go straight, how to adjust the vehicle steering. First, the information presented here is based on a typical vehicle event. The information is intended as a learning aid. Why is steering important? The typical vehicle event awards a better score the closer to a target point the vehicle stops. Steering is an important part of controlling where the vehicle stops. Different vehicle event rules have different track designs. A typical vehicle track will determine a start point and a target point. Some rules require the vehicle to travel in a straight line. The rules may place an obstacle like a bucket on the track, requiring the vehicle's path to curve around the obstacle. Other rules place obstacles on the track where the vehicle must accurately travel between. A good control of a vehicle's steering will allow a team to get a better score. Fingers crossed for the vehicle to travel to the target is not a good plan for success. Let's not confuse steering versus aiming. Steering controls how the vehicle travels while moving, controls whether the vehicle's path is straight or curved. Aiming is part of controlling where the vehicle stops. Another video will explain aiming in detail. Let's discuss how steering works. Let's start with a typical steering method like found on an automobile. To control steering, the front tires are rotated. Turning to the left is caused by rotating to the left. Rotating to the right will turn the vehicle to the right. This is a very common method for an automobile. While this is a common steering method, I do not recommend this method for a typical vehicle event. Let's discuss why this could be a poor choice. The typical vehicle event requires your vehicle to travel a long distance, traveling in a straight line or with a slight curve. Let's look at a different method. Instead of rotating the tires, what if the front axle is rotated around a pivot point? Rotate left to turn left. Rotate right to turn right. We get the same results with a simpler design. Your team's goal is to design and build a vehicle that achieves the best score. Don't forget that the design must be one that your team can build. I have seen many complex designs fail before making it to the track. Let's go back and look at the sample track where the vehicle must go around a bucket. The track is 10 meters long and the vehicle should be required to travel at least one meter from an imaginary center line of the track. This would be closer to an extreme curve for many vehicle events. How much do you think the front axle needs to rotate to travel this path? If the vehicle continued past the target point, the vehicle would travel in a complete circle. That circle would have a diameter of 26 meters. Not a small circle for a vehicle that is only 40 centimeters long. For comparison, that diameter is 65 times larger than the length of the vehicle. Okay, knowing the vehicle's path is a circle with a diameter of 26 meters, any idea on how many degrees the front axle should be rotated to travel this path? Are you thinking 10 degrees, 5 degrees, or some other number? If you were thinking less than 2 degrees, then you had the right idea. For reference, a protractor is shown. The axle is rotated less than 2 degrees, or 2 ticks of this protractor. That is a very small angle. Using a protractor to set the axle rotation would not be a good idea when just using two ticks. Let's look at a different method that allows for slight steering adjustments. This vehicle has the typical two axles with two wheels per axle. For this method, three of the axle mounts are fixed and not movable. One of the axle mounts is movable. We will cover some construction ideas later in the video. 
The vehicle steering is controlled by moving this one mount either forward or backwards. The shown steering method provides the same steering control as pivoting the front axle. This method provides finer control than the pivot. Remember as shown earlier, only a couple of degrees of movement is required to curve. For a vehicle to travel straight down the track, very small adjustments are required if only two degrees is required for a curve. There are several different methods of construction that will provide the ability to adjust the axle's location. Shown here is just a few different methods. Again, it's up to your team to find the best method for your vehicle. This video is intended to provide you ideas and tips on steering. Hopefully this video has been helpful. As for all vehicle events, testing and more testing is a must. Remember to record all your testing results. You cannot improve unless you know what works and does not work. Logging results will greatly help you and your team determine how the vehicle is performing, make improvements, and find issues. Thank you for watching, and good luck in your competitions.